Overflowing its banks from spring flooding, the Obion River twists its way to the Mississippi. But first, all creeks drain into the Obion, forming a massive watershed that includes some of Tennessee's most productive agricultural land. Almost half of the total uh, soybean production in the state of Tennessee is done in this watershed, along with, I think, 30 percent of the corn and wheat production. Lori Duncan with UT Extension is studying row crop sustainability, fertilizer application rates, and water conservation in the Obion watershed. She's concerned with soil erosion and fertilizers getting into area waterways. The watershed includes hundreds of miles of impaired streams and lakes. The goal of this project is to uh, reduce the nutrients that we're putting into the Obion River. Um, because that does ultimately lead to the Mississippi River and is causing issues down in the Gulf of Mexico. The Obion River flows through seven northwest Tennessee counties. The watershed itself covers nearly three quarters of a million acres, and every bit of it either forest or valuable row crop land. Kenneth Barnes will grow 5,000 acres of corn and soybeans in Obion County this year. Here he inspects equipment before planting. Barnes wants the cropland in the watershed to remain productive. Of course, some of the best ground we've got it lays in those Obion Rivers and, and Real Foot Creek watershed spots. So, you know, as far as that goes, it's, it's some of our best stuff. It is very fertile soil, but it does like to move with water. And that's one of the issues that we've been fighting with for 30 years now. UT Extension agents like Allen and Tim Smith are also involved in the Obion Watershed Project. Smith says protecting the Obion River is good both for farming as well as the environment, which includes nearby Sportsman's Paradise, Real Foot Lake. It's also a very big as far as our economy and, and wetland areas and, and duck habitat and all that too. Uh, we have some of the best duck hunting around and, and uh, that brings in other wildlife as well. Farmers in these parts like to brag you can dig down 50 feet and never touch a rock. This project looks to protect two things, the valuable soil here and the waterways that nourish the land. This is Chuck Denny reporting.